All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be working on subtraction with borrowing. Let's get started. So, when we subtract three digits by three digits, for example, or any combination of digits, we're gonna start on the right side of the digits. So, first we ask ourselves, what is two minus eight? We can't do that, right? We cannot do that. So we're going to borrow from the four. The four is going to become a three. And the number we borrow is going to be a 10. So the two becomes a 12. So we're going to put a one there. And this is going to be a 12. So well, now we can subtract because the eight is not bigger than our top number. So 12 minus eight, what is that going to give us? That is going to give us four. So let's write that down. We got four. Now, remember, we made this into a three, right? So now we're asking ourselves, what is three minus seven? We cannot subtract that, right? So again, we have to borrow. So let's borrow from the six. Okay, the six, keep track of it, becomes a five. And because every time we borrow, we borrow a 10, right? The three would become a 13. And now we can subtract. So what is 13 minus seven? It is six, let's write that down. And now we have the five minus three, and that gives us a two. So our final answer is going to be 264. And that is our first question done. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, so next question, 704 minus 286. Let's start on the right side. Four minus six, we cannot do that. So we have to borrow from the number on the left, but oh, it's zero. We can't borrow from zero, right? So now we have to go all the way to the left here from the seven. Let's borrow from the seven. So the seven becomes a six. Then the zero becomes a 10, right? And now we can borrow from it. So we get rid of the 10, this becomes a nine. And the four becomes a 14. Okay, so we get go to the zero, make that into a 10, and then we borrow from there. So now we can subtract 14 minus 6 is 8, 9 minus 8 is going to be 1, and 6 minus 2 is going to be 4. And just like that, we finished our question 418. Let's go to another example. Okay, here we have 2000 minus 853. That's a lot of zeros. Now, how are we going to approach this? Well, we can't subtract three from zero, correct? So we're gonna to have to go all the way to the left. So we can borrow from the zero, we can borrow from the zero, but we can borrow from the two. So the two becomes a one. This becomes a 10. All right. But now we have to borrow from this 10, right? To make this into a 10. So we borrow from this, this becomes a nine, and this becomes a 10. But we have to go all the way to the right. So now this becomes a nine as well. And now this becomes a 10. And we've reached the number, the digit on the very right. So now we can subtract. 10 minus three is gonna give us seven. Nine minus five, is going to give us four. Eight minus, nine minus eight is gonna give us one. And this stays the same as a one. And our final answer is gonna be 1,147. So again, we keep borrowing from the zero because the zero will become a 10. And then we borrow from there, we borrow from there until we reach the number that we are intending to arrive at. Okay, let's go to just one more example. Okay, so for our final question, we have 5,203 minus 1,487. Let's get started with this. So three minus seven, we can't do that, right? So we go to the number on the left, it's a zero. We can't borrow from the zero. So again, we have to borrow from this two over here. Okay, the two becomes a one because we can borrow from it. And this becomes a 10, but oh wait, we have to borrow one more time. So it becomes a nine. 
All right, this becomes a 9, but the 3 becomes a 13. There we have it. Now we can subtract. So 13 minus 7 is going to give us 6. There we go. 9 minus 8 is going to give us 1. Now remember, we made this into a 1, so we can subtract a 4 from it. So we have to borrow. So we make the 5 into a 4. This becomes an 11, because we always borrow a 10. So 11 minus 4 is 7. And lastly, 4 minus 1 is 3. So our final answer is 3,716. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you feel like it helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading more educational content. And I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Bye.